Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh no. What? It's the moguls. If this is a sneak attack, we haven't got a chance. I better warn everyone fast. What's going on? This doesn't look good. What'll we do? I don't know. I wonder what they want. I better get the chief sentinel right away. I demand to see your leader. And who shall I say is calling? Huh? Mr. Uh, whatever, you can't just barge in here. You're breaking the law, and the governor, Sultan Jalaluddin, will be quite displeased with you. That's a warning. Oh, he'll be displeased. He will give anything to be merely displeased. I'm sure, my good smart fellow, that once he knows we are the warriors of Genghis Khan and that we just disabled two of his feeble gods, he will comply with my demands and an appointment will not be necessary. What do you think? You'll never get away with this. Never! <laughs> <laughs> Destroy this entire place and show no mercy! I will not tolerate anything less! And prepare for them whatever you can of power and rows of war horses. And so it is written. Governor, I beg your pardon, but Chief Mamdud seeks your permission to enter. Very well. Let him in. Salamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Please, tell me your news. Mughal warriors have just attacked the Central Market Square, Governor. The cowards. And Genghis Khan attacked the cities of Marwu and Nisabur. It looks like he's now on his way to Harwasim. We must prepare for war to defend the security of the lands of Islam. We have no choice. Attention all citizens, let all who are present inform those who are absent. The Mughal warriors have attacked the cities of Barwu and Nisabur, and Sultan Jalaluddin calls on you to help in any way you can. Please listen to this urgent call and obey the Sultan's orders now. Always remember these two great deeds. Martyrdom or victory! Martyrdom or victory! Martyrdom or victory! I will not tolerate a mistake of any kind. Do you hear? Mistakes get people killed. And that's just what will happen to you if you make any. Death shall be the punishment for anyone who blunders or retreats in battle. No exceptions. Am I making myself clear? I am the great Genghis Khan and I shall conquer the world for myself. I always get whatever I want and anyone who gets in my way will have to answer to me, Genghis Khan. I shall never rest, and nor will you until everyone on Earth submits to me. Ghazna is the next to fall. Now, Commander Ibao. Yes, Master. I order you to capture Ghazna as swiftly as possible. Do you think you can do that for me, Commander? <laughs> After Ghazna, I shall move into the West, to Iraq, Syria, and Egypt. The whole world will hear of my power, my forces. I am Genghis Khan. Oh, this will not be an easy battle for my good people. I wonder, will we be victorious? I have great news, Governor. It's a girl. A, a girl? Here you are. She's the most beautiful little baby. May Allah bless her for you, sir, and may she always bring joy to you. Congratulations. Alhamdulillah. The Sultan's sister was married to Commander Mamdud. She too was to give birth to a child. Alhamdulillah for the safe arrival of my young master. May he be blessed by Allah. Go quickly to the palace with the news. 
news for you, sir. Your sister had her baby. What is it? She has been blessed with a son, and they've named him Mahmoud. Allah, make him a protector of the great Muslim nation. Alhamdulillah. I am entrusting 30,000 strong warriors to be under your command, Nibel. I want you to lead them back to Marwo and Naisabur and destroy everything completely this time. Then go on to Ghazna and finish the job there as well. At your command, Master. I will await news of your victory as soon as possible. Understood. You heard our leader's commands, men! Glory to Genghis Khan! Glory to Genghis Khan! The Mughals began their reign of terror against the great Muslim empire at the beginning of the 7th Islamic century. They attacked Marwu and Naisabur and burned them to the ground. Nothing seemed to stand in their way except the brave Sultan of Ghazna. Disaster has fallen upon Marwu and Naisabur and Genghis Khan's troops are swiftly approaching Harat. They are burning and destroying everything that crosses their path. People don't mean anything to them. They are showing no mercy wherever they go. We must gather our forces and stop them. Since our forces are small, perhaps we should ask Iraq and Syria for their help, sir. There's not enough time for that. The Mughals will attack us long before help can reach us. Commander... If we sit here and wait for them to attack us, we will be destroyed. Now listen, men. Increase and mobilize our forces. This battle will be decisive. Let's make it our victory. Attention, troops of Genghis Khan! All that remains for us here is Ghazna, which means that once we capture it, all of the East will be under our control. Now, men, there's no time to lose. Gather your camps and face them toward Ghazna! Ghazna! Jihad, my little girl. You're growing so fast, aren't you? Be good now. I'm confident that we will turn victorious, but if I should die a martyr, then please tell Mahmud that I sacrificed my soul mm. in the path of Allah. Hey Allah, strengthen their weaknesses and give them victory. How can they possibly stand up to our army? Fools, who do they think they are? Let's return to camp quickly. We must get ready. We'll stop here now for a short rest. My brothers, please listen. Hmm? We shall soon engage in a difficult battle against the fierce moguls of Genghis Khan. As Muslims, we must remember that Allah has promised us either victory or martyrdom. But let's make it victory so the religion of Allah can live on! Huh? Governor, a mogul! Hmm? Hmm. I bring this message from the High Commander of the Mughal Army to your leader, Sultan Jalaluddin, here. From Genghis Khan to Jalaluddin, son of Kawarazim Shah. I command you to surrender your army, and surrender your city, and to leave immediately, never to return. Otherwise, I shall have to slay you as I have slain your father before. As I am sure you're quite aware, I am not a generous man. I shall spare absolutely no one. 
What does he think I am? Write down my response. From Sultan Jalaluddin, son of Hawarizim Shah, to Commander Genghis Khan. And victory shall be for the God-fearing. Attack! Glory to the great Genghis Khan! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Commander Mamdun has been slain! Commander Mamdun has been oh, slain! No. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Come on over this way, Sultan! I would be more than happy to make you a martyr! Now come on! You'll pay for this, coward! <laughs> <laughs> Revenge! How is it possible that 30,000 of my skilled warriors can be defeated by a small group of displeased Muslims? I want every man who retreated from that battle to be punished by death. Then prepare a greater army, and I myself will personally be in command. Come in. Please, madame, your brother the Sultan is here. I'm glad to see you're back from the battle, safe and sound, Sultan. But I haven't seen Mamdud yet, have you? Great honor has come to Mamdud. After he had slain many of the Mughal warriors, he himself was taken down and had the honor of dying in the path of Allah. He has died a martyr, so praise Allah. We will all return to Allah someday. Don't think that those who are slain in the path of Allah are dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord and looked after. Just like this man, whoever misses the bullseye will be of no use to this army, understood? Ooh. Ooh. I see you are working hard. Uh, yes, I am. Our swords must be sharper than ever. God willing, Governor. They will be as you like. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. We are in need of truthful hearts and righteous deeds to gain Allah's help and victory for us. <laughs> I know you're yeah. under here. Huh? Oh. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> How come I can never find you? Uh, where are you going now, Jihad? I've got you now. Ah, uh, now do you think you and your cousin could play some other kind of game that's quiet? Huh? The Sultan is here. Oh, thank you. Salamu alaikum. I've brought a guest. Come in, Salama. You're quite welcome. Come in. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, dear Uncle Salama. Where have you been all this time? 
I was in India for a while and have been back here for almost, um, let me think, well, not for very long. I've been worried about finding someone to care for you until I heard Salama had returned. Huh? Care for us? What do you mean by that? Another battle is imminent, and it will be extremely dangerous. I don't think Genghis Khan will stand still for very long. He will attack soon, and it will be with no mercy. For this reason, I must move you all to a safer place in India with Salama. You'll leave the day after tomorrow in a caravan of Muslim women and children. We will attack the enemy right when you leave to ensure that your escape goes unnoticed. I'm quite sure that we will be victorious, and after the battle, I will personally go to India to accompany you and the families of the Muslim soldiers back home. And so the Sultan placed the care of the Muslim women and children in a safe haven. And he sent his own family with a good man, Salama. Here's some water. You both must be very thirsty. You are a trustworthy man, Uncle. Thank you for your loyalty and kindness. Now, now, how could I be anything less? You are my family and very dear to me. Uncle Salama, I think it's important to always be prepared for the unknown. Wouldn't you agree with me, Uncle? Huh? I don't think I understand. Please take this pouch of money and spend it on these two children, for they are entrusted with you. <sighs> Looks like an easy group. Let's take everything they have! <laughs> oh! Oh, Aisha! Mahmoud! And she had! Come here right now! Go quickly and capture them! No! <laughs> Uh, uh, Uncle Salama, uh, 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 save the children. Uh, uh. Yeah! Take the horse, The old man ran off with the children right in front of us. Oh well, no big deal. As long as we have their camels and supplies, I'll be happy. The decisive battle was about to take place between the Muslim army led by Sultan Jalaluddin and the Mughal army led by Genghis Khan at Kabul near Ghazna, the capital city of the Ghaznawis. My brothers, sons of Islam, heroes of our creed, today you must defend your religion, your honor, your people and your land. Fight for victory against your enemies or for the honor of martyrdom. The time has come! <laughs> Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Shall we get a move on, Commander? They haven't got a chance! Warriors! Attack and have no mercy on your enemies! Pounce on them like the savage wolves that you are! Hiya! The Muslims faced the mighty test of a vicious attack, and they did well. They repeated in their hearts the comforting words of Allah the Exalted, If you suffer pain, they too suffer pain, just as you. But you have hope in Allah, what they can never hope for. The battle continued to rage on with ups and downs. A large number of Muslim soldiers were slain, so the Sultan sent for more help. Huh? Mom, Uncle Salama is here! Huh? This is my old home. My sister and her children live in it now. What a nice surprise. Welcome back home, Salama. And who are these sweet children? They are Mahmoud and Jihad. Nice to meet you, children. You are most welcome. Why don't you go and play while I make some lunch for you? Go on. Mr. Salama, please open the door. It's urgent. A few Muslim soldiers of Sultan Jalaluddin are here. Did you say Muslim soldiers of Sultan? Yes. A secondary army has been formed in Lahore. All the nearby cities and towns have joined it. They've pledged to follow the Sultan. I came to inform you right away. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Could you go quickly to the soldiers and tell them that I want to meet with them? I have a surprise. Go now with peace. A surprise? Sultan Jalal ad a neighbor and friend to you, urgently requests your help to join us and strengthen our army in order to win this critical and difficult battle. We need more Muslim soldiers. We will be the fastest village to respond to your plea, and we have the Sultan's daughter. Huh? What did you say? Princess Yihad, daughter of Sultan Jalal ad and the Prince Mahmud, son of Mamdud. That's great news! The governor has lost all hope of ever seeing his family again. Governor! G Governor! 
Yes, officer. What is the matter now? Your army has returned with great news for you, Governor. Does that mean some of the villages have joined us? All of the villages have happily joined us. And I have more news. Jihad and Mahmoud were found safe with their uncle. The children. Thank you. What wonderful news. Where are they now, huh? They departed with a small group and are on their way to the palace right now. It's too dangerous to go through the forest. He's right. I think we should set up camp for the night. Are we getting close to Lahore now? There's only one day's travel left. You two watch the children. The rest shall guard the encampment. Be on alert and watch the forest. What if we're attacked? The priority is to look after the children and keep them safe. We must wake them up quickly. Get up, Salama. Get up. Get ready, men. We must make our move. We must make our move. Come on. Do you know who they are? I'm not sure. Maybe they're highway robbers. Come quickly under the tent. Stay here quietly and don't move. I'm scared. Shh, trust in Allah and be calm, okay? <gasps> Look here, this is interesting. And just what are we supposed to do with these little kids, huh, Chief? Huh? Only little children? Didn't you find any gold? Sorry, boss, no gold. This is the extent of our loot, only the two children. So what do we do with them now, big guy? Actually, I think it's possible these kids can make us rich. <laughs> the robbers kidnap the prince and princess Mahmoud and Jihad to take them into town and sell them at the slave market. In so doing, the robbers ignored the saying of the prophet. Three shall be punished on the day of judgment. One of the three is one who sells a free person and devours the wealth from it. I have two children that I want to sell today. Hurry and bring the two children right away. Ugh. Ugh. Attention, people! I have here two healthy children who are a joy to the eye, as if they are children of the Sultan. Who would like to buy these children today? I'll pay 20 dinar. Ooh. I'll pay 50 dinar. 100 dinar. Huh? They're trying to sell us. They can't do that. It's wrong. Why don't we tell them who we are? Because they're too greedy, and I know they'll never believe us anyway. Do I hear more than 100? Then they are sold! Sold! And that concludes the market for today. Thank you! Stop here. The sun's starting to set. We'll spend the night here and wait until dawn before we continue our course. The caravan moved on with the children to a place near Khalab, and it is there that a new chapter in their lives begins. Children, you shall now live with me and my family. I rename you Kotos and you the girl Julanar. The Sultan never ceased defending Muslim lands against the onslaught of the Mughals. He sacrificed all he could for years until death finally came his way. After his sad death, and without him as the leader, the way was open for the Mughals to capture Ghazna.
Salamu alaikum, Bibars. How are you? Wa alaikum salam. This is Kotos and Julinar. They will be living with us now. Welcome to you both, Kotos and Julinar. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's your coffee, ma'am. Mm. Ah, bless your capable hands, Julinar. The coffee is delicious as always. You're most welcome. <gasps> This amount of firewood should last us a long, long time, don't you think, mm -hmm. Bibars? Ah, <sighs> <sighs> uh, no, no, <laughs> Genghis Khan! <laughs> no, uh, no, no, Genghis Khan! Uh, 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 no, uh, 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 no, no. No! Genghis Khan! Uh. Fire! Fire! We gotta hurry and stop it or the whole house will burn down! I've gotta get the children out now! Oh no, it's too dangerous! Please be careful! Be careful! <laughs> Oh, thank God the children are all out safely. Can you believe it? They got us all out of that huge fire and Julinar was rescued too. Thank you, Bibars. You saved my life. Thank you. We were saved by the grace of Allah, but our loss is still great. We lost huh? everything we own to the fire. Now what's going to happen to us all? It saddens me to tell you this because we've grown very fond of you, but we can no longer afford to keep you. I'll make sure you only go to a good person. Is there anyone who would like to start the bidding for this fine young boy? Look at all these people here at the market. I haven't seen a crowd like this for a long time. He's a healthy, strong boy, and I'm sure very useful. I'll pay 50 dinar. Come on, only 50 dinar for this sturdy warrior. Do I hear more? I'll pay 60 dinar. Surely there's someone who will pay me more for this boy. 70 dinar. 100. Excuse me, I'm quite willing to pay 150 dinar for that boy. Huh? Huh? Then I guess the boy is all yours, sir. <gasps> Be bars. Mm, bye. Uh, bye. Come here, my son. Come here now. Huh? <clears throat> here we have another strong young man. Who would like to buy this intelligent boy, polite, honorable, obedient, and so brave? Who will be the lucky one to buy him? Start the bidding! One hundred! Huh? Huh? One hundred and twenty! One fifty! Believe me, if I were not in need of money, <laughs> I'd keep him for myself. I'll pay two hundred and fifty dinar for him. Two hundred and seventy dinar! I will pay three hundred dinar. <gasps> Who will pay more? No one? Then he is all yours! Thank you. My pleasure. <gasps> Come on up! Come on, it's okay! Come on! Hmm, a girl like you, a jewel! The moon is jealous of her beauty! Who could resist such sweetness? A lovely, polite, healthy, and useful girl! One hundred dinar! One hundred and fifty! Two hundred! I'll pay 250. I'll give you 300 dinar for her. Huh? huh? Please, sir, don't separate us. We're cousins and we've always been together. Oh, please, sir. I'll pay 350. Huh? Hmm? Take her then. She's all yours. Thank you very much.
Who is it, please? It's me. <gasps> Salamu alaikum. I've got a couple of very special young visitors for you, Suhad. Wa alaikum salam. I'm glad you're home safely. Welcome to you, too. You both must be tired and hungry. Please, come inside your new home. Attention, people! Calling all Muslims the important news! The king of the Mughals! Genghis Khan has been uh. killed! Hey! 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 Hear me now! I'm sure he taught his successor, Hulago, all of his evil tricks. It's still nice to know that he's gone for good when you think of all the Muslims who died because of him and his evil army. Criminal, murderer, I thought about taking him down myself with my own bare hands many, many times. They are both very well behaved and smart. And they love to learn about everything. Kotos and Julinar, come. These are my dear children, Kotos and Julinar. It's nice to meet you both. Hanim is very proud of you. As you can see, they're in perfect health. They have excellent manners and great knowledge. They've already learned to read really well, and they've studied religion, language, and arithmetic. They're also superb at riding horses and have energy to burn. The only problem is they haven't been able to devote time to their studies for a while, but I'm hopeful that they'll pick it up right where they left off easily. You, Mr. Mustafa, will help them and teach them arithmetic and geometry, and you, my friend Khalid, will teach them how to use the sword. I will pay you whatever you wish. I'm confident that you will all work well together and have great success. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you I very much. Wait. I'm looking forward to it. Let's begin our first lesson now. My dear, sweet children, I can't believe you're nearly adults. I'm thankful I've been able to see you grow into such outstanding people. But you helped make us who we are today. I took good care to teach you what you will need in life, and you have been good students and good people. Suhad has told me of your wishes to get married, and I wish to comply. I now want to free you so you can go out into the world and... Oh. <coughs> Make your own marks. We've lived in your home for many happy years. You were true parents to us and gave us everything, including love and kindness. Unfortunately, the good merchant died before Kotos and Julinar were freed. He was my brother before he was your husband, and it's my right to do exactly what I want with him, understand? Unlike you, Hanim was a good man and treated people with kindness you don't know about goodness, and I know you'll only hurt them and treat them badly. As Hanim's brother, they are now considered my property, and I'm free to do as I wish. But you must honor your brother's plans for them and respect his love for his children. Ha! Ah, all I have to honor right now is my law! Your heart is as hard as rock. You're just a coward. You stay out of this. I know how to deal with them, whether you like it or not. <gasps> oh. You nearly broke every bone in my hand. Kotos and Julinar are respectable, intelligent people. You're just a disgrace. If you love them so much, why don't you pay my share and take care of the rotten kids yourself? Then we'll all be happy. If you do that, I promise. You'll never see my face again! You know I don't have any money at all. All I ask from you is to be good to them. Well, I'm in need of money, too. So I'll sell your precious kids to the first merchant I meet at the slave market. Ha! I'll never know why or how you became so different from your brother. Well, thanks for listening to my whole story. You're a very good friend, Ali. There is only one solution, Kotos. Inform my master of your situation and ask him to relieve you from this terrible man. There's a good chance he'll do it. If you do this for me, my friend, I will be indebted to you for the rest of my life. Huh? What's wrong? Are, are you okay? Tell me. 
Well, what's making you cry? She's crying over your respectable, <laughs> oh, intelligent okay. cousin, Julinar. What? I sold her today. Oh. An Egyptian man bought her for a good price, and now you're separated. Oh, you hateful little man. I know we'll be united again despite your evilness. Years ago, your brother took us in and raised us as if he was our real father. If it weren't for the goodness he has shown me and the respect for his dear wife, I would crush your head like an egg right now. How dare you speak to your master like that? If you're not careful, I'll never sell you and then you'll be stuck serving me forever and ever. Uh, you go and answer the door. Go on, do it now. Uh, go to the door. Hurry, go on. Salamu alaikum. I'm sorry to disturb you. May I come in? Wa alaikum salam. It's a pleasure to see you, sir. Welcome, Ibn Essayim. Welcome. May God bless your brother. He was one of my dearest friends. And what do you want with me, huh? I came to pay my respects, but I also have a business proposition. I'm all ears. I would like to buy kotos from you right now. Huh? Are you serious? Very. How much would you like for Only it? Only 100 dinar. Huh? Yes, Amir, 100 dinar. He's not even worth that. He means nothing to me. Now, where's the cash? Here it is. Take your money. Come, Kotos. Let's go. <laughs> I'll be happy to go with you, Master. But is it okay if I just say farewell to my aunt before I leave? Hmm? Of course, Kotos. Take your time. I'll wait for you at my home. My good aunt... Your brother-in-law's evil acts will never make me forget the love I found in this home. I must go now. But always know that you're like my mother, and you have a special place in my heart. I'm forever willing to do anything you ask of me. May Allah reward you, my son, and may he protect you from all harm. Good work. Thank you for preparing things so well. Our guest is a good man, Sheikh Izadin Abduzalam. He deserves the best hospitality. I ask you both, Ali and Kotos, to extend to him kindness and honor, for he is an accomplished man of great knowledge and high esteem. Master, Sheikh Izadin hmm? is on his way in here right now. Very good. I shall greet him myself. Salamu alaikum, Ibn Esai. Wa alaikum salam, our most honorable sheikh. Welcome to my home. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Hmm. It seems to me, Ibn Esai, that I've seen this young man before. It's possible. He is Hanim's boy. He looks like a fine young man. Whenever I saw him at Hanim's home, his intelligence, abilities, and knowledge impressed me greatly. I have a feeling, Kotos, that you will amount to something great in the Muslim nation. I don't get feelings like that about many people. What do you think? I know he'll be important someday, so I purchased him in order to f*** him. I see our lunch is ready. Would you care to eat while it's hot? I would love to, but I must insist that Kotos and Ali join us too. Why, yes, of course. Our great nation is in danger of crumbling from all sides. The Mughals are determined to attack Baghdad, and I have also just learned that the Crusaders are preparing their massive forces for yet another attack against Egypt. Oh, Muslims, greater Syria still remains a land of learning and a fountainhead of men. I have come to Damascus to awaken your concern for the defense of Muslim lands against evil and aggression. To fight against the enemies of Islam is an obligation upon all of us. I urge the people to give what they can and defend the honor of the Muslim lands. We must save ourselves, so please spread the word. Thank you. Yes, Kotos. Tell me what's on your mind, my son. I'm here to listen. Your speech was very moving, and I'm sure every citizen will answer your call, Master. Thank you. I sure hope so. Do you think I could fight, too? The Muslim army would definitely be stronger with the likes of you, especially among the youth corps. But I'm worried that I won't be able to. I I'm not sure if my master would allow it. Your master is a sincere man and supports jihad with all his heart. He will not refuse. I'm sure of it. In Egypt... King Salih Ayyub is deeply troubled because of the news that reached him that a new wave of crusaders was about to attack their land by sea. The King Salih Ayyub has arrived! Salamu alaikum. First of all, 
Has there been any news at all from the scouts we sent out to observe the Crusaders at sea, Ibak? Yes, there has, sir. Their ships are still at sea, and according to our scouts, there are many of them. Then prepare the army now, and get ready to confront them. Please, try not to stress yourself, my king. I know that you're very tired, and you must rest up for the coming days. How can I rest? It is impossible for me to rest when Muslims are being persecuted. Each one of us must do everything we can to prepare to face our enemies. We haven't heard any news from Sheikh Izzedine after he left Damascus. He was asked to return to Egypt. And we've learned that he should arrive there sometime today. Everyone knows that Egypt is facing a great threat from the Crusaders, and it will be a tough battle. I know the Crusaders believe that after conquering Egypt, they'll be able to conquer the Holy Land easily. What will we do? I have a strong hand for fighting and a believing heart for caring. Give me permission to fight in the army of King Saleh against the Crusaders. Please, will you? Sheikh Izzedine has told me what is in your heart. You're a brave young man, Kotos. I've been hoping for this, and I will help you prepare. Thank you, sir. All I want is to help my Muslim brothers with their struggle in Egypt and stand side by side with them while we fight for our lives and religion. Good. You may leave tomorrow. I pray that you find success and fulfill your purpose. I will also send your friend Ali along with you. Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. And I will never forget your generosity and kindness. Everyone, gather around. Ah, welcome I back, deputy of King Sali. How can I help you today? I am at your hmm. service, sir. I'm looking for a young man to be a horseman for King Ayub. Me. You must be an excellent horseman. Do you think you are? Yes, sir, I am. Are you a good archer, too? Maybe I should just show you what I can do, sir. Very well. Then come forward and show me your strength. Incredible skill. If all of our soldiers were as talented as you, we'd be laughing. I'm sure the king will see you as someone who could bring victory to this nation. It would be a great honor. Prince Ibak seeks permission to enter. Shall I tell him to come in? Send him right in. Salamu alaikum, our king. I have returned. It looks like you had success. Who is this young hero with you? This man is Kotos, my dear sir. I have yet to see anyone as brave or as skilled as he. So you are impressed with him? Yes, I am. I respect Ibak's opinion and believe that you are all he says you are, Kotos. It's certainly nice to see Muslims like you. Thank you, sir. He is truly our best man. Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I'm looking for Officer B. Bars. Do you know where I can find him? You can usually find him around the horses' grounds at this time. I'm sure he'll still be there if you go now. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? Isn't there a man among you strong enough to fight me? <laughs> we may not be as strong, but we're sure smart enough to know it. Believe it. And I'm strong enough to know that it wouldn't be so foolish to take you on. Huh? Who are you? One of the uh -huh. Muslim soldiers. Then let's see if you're foolish or not to take me on. Ah! 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 What do you think so far? You're quite strong. There is no doubt about it. Yet I haven't won or lost. Hmm. Then you're a strange man. Don't you remember me, sir? We met in the home of one of the merchants of Halab. Are you my friend, Kotos? Yes, Bibars, it's me. My dearest friend. We meet again after all these... Have you seen Julinar at all? We were separated not so long ago. Would you know where she is, Bibars? Maybe. You must pay me first, though, Kotos. Still the Joker after all these years. She is well. My wife meets with her once in a while. I guess you know now that I'm married. Tonight, you must be our guest, Kotos. Please say yes. Now, my good Ibak, what specifically did you wish to talk to me about today? 
Kotos and his cousin, Julinar, grew up together until she was sold separately. Kotos has become a celebrated officer in no time, and I thought they could be reunited and get married. My wife has already told me about their situation, and I will grant them the freedom to be reunited. The Crusaders landed on the shores of Egypt. Their army started to advance toward the city of Al-Mansura, the year 647 of the Muslim calendar. We will never permit this. Prepare the army today, and tomorrow we will head towards Al-Mansura. How can we allow them to conquer the city of Damayat after we defeated them in Palestine? I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> yes, come in. What is it, al Kunut? Sir, I have news. King Salih's army is now headed towards Al-Mansura. Kunut, what is the matter with you? Are you afraid? How can I be afraid, sir, when my brother is with me? We will soon face him in the field of battle, so there's no room for fear. Good. I want you to go forth right away. Is that understood? King Salih, at the head of his army, advanced toward Al-Mansura, despite his illness. He granted Julinar her freedom. And after a short time, Kotos became a high-ranking officer. Remember to hold tightly to the rope of Allah, and together attack your enemies! Sir, you are ill. Please rest. How can I possibly rest when the Muslims are threatened? It would be my honor to die fighting in the path of Allah! <coughs> A little while ago, our spies returned and reported that King Salih had died in his army's camp near Al-Mansura. His wife has concealed the news of his death from the army. This is the perfect time to attack the Egyptian army at Al-Mansura. If we're able to defeat them, we will be in control of Egypt. King Salih Ayyub did die, and the Crusaders expected victory in the battle. What they didn't expect, however, was to come across officers in the Muslim army who were hand-picked by King Salih himself. They were fearless with a mission. Kutus and Bibars were two such officers. Attack men! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Shah! The Muslims rejoiced at their victory and at driving out the Crusaders, but the Muslims in Baghdad also faced turmoil, for in the east, the Mughals, under the leadership of Hulago, were at the gates of Baghdad. The year was 656 of the Muslim calendar. Oh, Hulago Khan, we've reached Baghdad, the center of Islamic leadership. The sun will not set today before we destroy the city completely. Loot the homes! Destroy the city! Burn it down! Attack! The Lobos are here! Retreat! Retreat! There are too many of them! Take cover! The archers get rid of the soldiers on the wall! Yes, sir! Whoa. Oh. This way! Yeah. At last, Baghdad has fallen into my hands. Now we can reap the spoils. Yeah. Forward! Attack!
Quickly, everyone! They're almost here! Take whatever you can and hurry! <laughs> hurry! You heard what our leader said? Let's rip through this place quickly and not miss a thing! How many casualties? About two million, Master Hulago. The road to Halab is now free. After this, fear alone will open the doors of victory. <laughs> I've called this critical meeting today so we can discuss our current situation. Our very existence and fate are threatened by the Mughal leader, Halago. How are we possibly going to stop this raging storm against us, huh? We can't just sit back and let someone destroy us and our religion. We must do something. We need to strengthen our determination and unify ourselves. There's power in unity. I think it's best to hear what Sheikh Izzedine advises us. Today especially, we are in great need of his knowledge and experience. We are the greatest nation ever brought forth for humanity. This nation will be victorious by Allah's grace and our faith and struggle. This nation needs a mature and guiding leader, not a small boy. Our situation will worsen if we hand over leadership to someone who's not yet a man. What exactly do you mean by your words, Honorable Sheikh Izzadeen? I'll make myself very clear now. The king's son knows absolutely nothing about handling our urgent situation. I nominate Kotos to take the place of the son of King Salih. Huh? Huh? Uh, you want the new rightful king to give up the throne? The safety of our nation is more important than anything. Attention! Pledge allegiance to Amir Kotos, huh? the new king of Egypt! Good news, he's a man of great determination and wisdom. Yes, he's the son of the brave Sultan Jalaluddin. Ah, uh, Kutuz, it's hard to believe that you're now the king of Egypt after all those years as a servant, isn't it? Yes. My responsibilities are enormous. I was once a servant of one Muslim home, and now, Julinar, I've become the main servant of an entire Muslim nation. My dear husband, you've worked so hard your entire life. You have experience as an officer. You've led many men to victory on the battlefield. Together with your skills, support from a nation who loves you and Allah's help, you will hmm. succeed. All right, Kayatoba. Prepare the troops. The time has come to take Egypt. At your command, sir. <laughs> you shall dispatch the army and meet Kodos. Let him know my terms. There will either be surrender or war. It's as simple as that. Here is my answer to your king. He's fooling himself if he thinks he frightens us by his aggression. Tell him that my appointment with him shall be on the battlefield. Go now before I lose my patience. Otherwise, you'll be the first casualty of this war. Go! <sighs> what is this supposed to be? Boldness? I don't call it boldness. I call it insolence. They'd better run and hide. Join the army, save your families, save your religion, save Egypt! Let's beat the Mughals as we beat the Crusaders! Recruitment is going well, but we still need more. Kotos, I want to join. No. I want to be helpful for the army, huh? I'll give water to the fighters and treat the wounded. I want to do my part, just as the Muslim women did in the very beginning. Mm. But, Julinar, I'm afraid you'll be captured by the Mughals. But I'm good with horses, remember? <laughs> oh, Allah, make them triumphant and victorious, O oh, Lord of the Universe! Amen. The Mughals had conquered the cities of Greater Syria, and now headed toward Egypt, which itself dispatched an army led by Muzaffar Kotos and his chief aide Bibars. And at Anjalut, near the Sea of Tabaria in Palestine, there would be the decisive battle at last between the Mughals and the Muslims. <laughs> Get 
Our brothers from Syria have joined us. It has increased our power. Some traitors, however, are fighting alongside the enemies. I hope there are more joining us than leaving us. At Ein Jalut, preparations for the Muslim army to plunge into battle against the mighty Mughal army began, and the lion of Ein Jalut, the courageous Muzaffar Kotos, stood before the rows of soldiers to inspire enthusiasm and courage in their souls and to inspire confidence in the horsemen. Here in Ein Jalut, we shall fight. You, Akte, shall lead the left wing of the army. And you, Bibars, lead the right wing, and I shall be in the middle. Are you ready? Attack! Attack! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Kotos is in the middle. Let's get rid of him. Julinar! Julinar! Uh, 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 Kutus, you must be victorious. Uh. I'll take you to the tent. There's a doctor there. Julinar, Julinar! Don't think of me anymore. Think of Islam and the Muslims. They need you. Things are going in their favor. Who was that? That is their leader, Kaituba. Leave him to me. He's all mine. Give him to me, sir. The Muslims are in dire need of your leadership. I'll take care of him, you'll see. Kayatoba was killed as he was fleeing! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! I thank you, my lord, for granting us this great victory over the Mughals, the enemies of Islam, by our own hands. My brothers, we shall send messengers to every region of the Muslim world, for they need to know the news of this great victory that Allah has granted us. Let us thank Allah from the core of our hearts for what he has given us, this mighty victory. Let us now pray for the righteous and pure martyrs who gave their lives for our cause.
Here at Anjalut, victory came by the grace of Allah and also by the heroics and courage of people like King Musafar Kotos, Sheikh Izzadin Abdusalam, and Commander Bibars. At last, the waves of the savage Mughal armies, who thought they would never lose a battle to anyone, were stopped and defeated at Ain Jalut for the first time. The Muslims of other lands who before fled from the savagery of the Mughals couldn't believe it when they heard the news of the victory. To this day, we are greatly indebted to the martyrs and fighters at Ain Jalut, who believed in victory and made it possible after they had sacrificed themselves to save others at a crucial moment in Muslim history, when the Muslim nation was in great need of these heroes. May Allah's mercy be upon them all.